And... Sweet! There is another level 10 building achievement. Hey everyone, uh, this is feature video editing Chris. I've done some thinking and have bad news for all of you. I realize I'm not willing to finish this speed run out. This may well be the last video. I might get interested in it again a few months from now, potentially, but uh, as far as my intentions go right now, this will be the last episode. So, you know, bad news to everyone who is hoping to see a year of psychological discipline and fortitude and uh no i'm i was interested in this just because i wanted to know if it was possible and i wanted to solve the problems that came up along the way while doing it and we've done all that we got our equations for sugar lumps we got a weekly schedule we know how to scum the garden in 24 hours if we need to not only have i found out that the run i'm doing was possible but that also it was possible to do it without safe scumming in the first place anyways this episode is just going to finish everything out by getting a bottomless pit. After that, every achievement comes down to, you know, either get X amount of sugar lumps, get X amount of golden cookie clicks, or play the game for X amount of time for the 365 day achievement, or just for the just plain lucky achievement. All of those are pure grind. There's nothing new we have to figure out for those. It's just whether or not, you know, I'm willing to put the amount of time into the game to get those achievements, and <laughs> I decided I'm not. That being said, over the last 90 days, I've kept every like checkpoint in a public spreadsheet of save files, so anyone watching this, you're more than welcome to open that up, explore them, do what you want with those save files. Hey, this is a two layers deep video editing, video editing, Chris. More broadly than just a cookie clicker, over the past few months, I've been putting a lot of effort into YouTube, uh, largely hoping to make it into a stable source of income, because it actually was that at previous points in my life. Finding out if I enjoyed doing it, if it was worth it, how much I'd have to learn to make that happen. So, I don't know, over the past few years, I've been really dissatisfied with where, like, my wife and I were financially, and we've, we've been in some bad places financially over the past few years. Um, but was just kind of clawing at every possible door to extra income that I could, and uh, that actually changed the past couple weeks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what brought on the change, but I've gotten to a place where I'm pretty content with the amount of wealth we have and the amount of wealth we don't have, and I guess I realized that with that contentness, I don't feel nearly as much of a drive to uh, produce YouTube content, so I'm probably not going to stop video production and working math into games in a public way, but that's probably going to be a much smaller part of my life and my free time going forward into the next few months than it has been the past few months. With that all said, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this last bit of the series. Uh, I wanna actually finish these last cookie production ones this video. Um, the rest of these in here are pretty much sugar lump harvesting. And then down here we also need a bunch of golden cookies for an achievement, and uh, just plain lucky actually, we haven't gotten one yet. Um, since starting this, I've added about 570 hours of gameplay on Steam. Uh, and then I did I double check the math for that, and it looks like that comes out to about like a 13% chance that we would not have gotten just plain lucky by this point. So we have we have not been lucky we haven't been just plain unlucky yeah it's uh this one right here so there's a one in a million chance of getting this shadow achievement each second someone also uh shared this with me so i don't really hang out on the dashnet discord but um it looks like i'm actually getting mentioned in the memes there yeah yeah <laughs> so like if people don't like this because i'm uh, save scumming, adding in, you know, like, add-ons and auto hotkey scripts to, <laughs> to automate the save scumming, like, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna make it, like, three times as bad in, um, the eyes of the people that are, like, you know, no save scumming. I'm, I'm laughing a lot here, because at this point, I hadn't yet decided to end the run. I, I knew I wasn't gonna grind it out, but I was, uh, planning this kind of middle ground of automating all the grinding, so writing like auto hot crease scripts and something to play the garden for us, and uh, something to, you know, multi-save sugar lumps for us. Uh, 
which I thought was funny because if I did that, it would have made like this run even more despicable to the uh, no save scum purists that are out there. I mean, I, I'm, you know, kind of letting go of the run, but it would be really cool, wink wink, if someone could take the run and automate the rest of it. I don't know how much effort that would actually be. Last time I had it set to German for a little bit, and there actually was a strategic problem with um, playing this in German, which is, look at the sugar lump descriptions. The word for that they're using for matures and ripens is the same. So there's probably something else that could give away, um, like when it's ripe versus mature in German. But I had to switch it back to English because over and over I was missing um, my multi-save sessions for sugar lumps. Because, you know, it was actually ripe when I thought it was mature, so it auto-harvested. Alright, we got the dragon harvest. So once the dragon harvests, about halfway through... Then I'll summon our two grimoire cookies. We open the stock market, because we're going to get the loans. And then as soon as we hear uh, the summon noise for the next golden cookie, we go ahead and flip the golden switch, get the loans, and get ready to export a save. Yep, so there's that. Click those options. Nah. And then we start over. Uh, so there's... Huh, there's the Elder Frenzy. Uh, at this point now, yeah, we gotta pick which buildings we're gonna sell for Godzamok. Also, I think the uh, Lucky Day fortune is still here so it's it's even possible in theory to stack another effect on top of this after a few attempts looks like about 24 unvigintillion is uh what we're going with there it is there's one of the achievements at least hey okay so that is the last cookies per second achievement we didn't get either of the um total cookies baked achievements i upgraded all the buildings and uh, probably won't ascend, but we'll take another shot at it since um, all the extra upgrades bumped us up quite a bit. So we still got <laughs> the lucky day news ticker. Also, while we were doing that, day 86 has started. So I went back, I, I kept all my save states along the way. And so, yeah, just look at the raw cookies per second. You know, there it's 114. It's right when we get the dragon harvest. This is, yeah, after some extra setup with Crumbler. Then we get the Elder Frenzy. Yeah, it doesn't really change it. And then here's after the combo. Lower. And then after using the combo's uh, income to purchase a bunch of extra stuff. Yeah, I know, right? So right now our raw cookies per second is about four times what it was going into that combo if we were to ascend we'd also you know start back out with about three times uh our raw cookie rate so if all else fails we could just do a few more combos like this and ascend three or four times and that should put us there i want to see if i can get the duo vigintillion before day 90. so it's a few days later and Pretty much the last thing I want to do before I close off this run is just get these uh, last two achievements for cookie production. So I figure... Blew out with a bang. So <laughs> I went ahead and resorted to using um, the Grimoire Planner. You can just find this online, so if y'all haven't heard of this, you paste in uh, your save file, and it lays out for you what kinds of golden cookies you'll get from uh, Force the Hand of Fate in your grimoire. Um, and I, I went through it, did a bunch of... actually didn't have to do that many uh, spell casts to get here, but right now we have lined up two building specials, a Click Frenzy, and an Elder Frenzy, which is insane. It's like, normally I think I should have had to go through probably hundreds of spells to reach something like this on average. Um, I think I only had to cast like 20 or 30 something. And then <laughs> since uh, we already had some Elder Warts around the Juicy Queen beat, I just went ahead and and I went for the Grandma CPS. So we're just doing Crone Rice and Nurse Tulips. Sweet. And with this upgrade, 
I think that's all every upgrade too. Yeah, sweet. Okay. So this will be a good final combo. Okay, it looks like everything's working. So we can do, you know, summon a cookie, but we have to click it first. So if we try to, yeah, dual cast with it on the screen, it backfires and we get a ruin. Um, but building specials last a while, so should be able to just sell these off. Click that, summon this one. Fire Wizard Tower's back. Then we fill this. Summon. Sell off again. There we go. And yeah, this should give us... There we go. Yep, Click Frenzy, Elder Frenzy, and two building specials. Super cool. And then uh, what we'll try to do is get um, Frenzy, El... Frenzy, Dragon Harvest, and Dragon Flight for our uh, natural golden cookies. Alright, so the next day I'm just picking up from where I left off. Yeah, so we have Dragon Harvest and Frenzy. And so now what I think needs to happen is we open this, and then I'm going to keep Supreme Intellect because it makes quad casting a little easier. Got to put... Yeah, dragon flight here. And once the dragon harvest has run out of enough time, so maybe when this like line gets points towards the bottom right corner, at that point, go ahead, force the hand of fate, then sell this down. So I click that, summon again, buy. Gotta refill this. Then we can go. Yeah, summon again. Okay, there we go. That's those three. And then as soon as we hear the next one appear, we flip the switch, do the loans, and just hope it's a dragon flight. And I. Th oh, shoot. There's a specific order we have to click these in, too. Um, so that the. Dragon Flight and Click Frenzy don't cancel each other. Yeah, okay. So we activate Click Frenzy, which we get from the Grimoire, during Dragon Flight, which we get as our last natural golden cookie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't get it, but uh, even without getting the Dragon Flight, it was still plenty to get the next achievement. Yeah, okay. Um, but we're not going to take it, obviously. Just... So I've done this a couple of times now, and I have both save files. So I have the save file um, when we just had, you know, Dragon Flight and... Not Dragon Flight. From when we just had Dragon Harvest and Frenzy. So here's a setup where, you know, we got Frenzy instead of Dragon Flight. A building special would also work pretty well for that last cookie, but... This is already enough that I think we can just go ahead and, uh, like, get the duo Vigantillion with this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there we got 770, so if I, I think if I just, you know, switch a little quicker. Radiant Appetite and click fast enough. Oh, 9.30. Okay, we can make this. Oh, shoot. Woo! There it is. Didn't even need the dragon flight. I feel like such a dummy. So, I got halfway through editing this video before realizing I totally forgot about Godzamok. Like, that's one of the harder things I found about late game comboing is just there's like, you know, nine different things you need to do between the garden, the loans, the golden switch, whether or not you use a sugar frenzy, like quad casting, changing out the dragon auras that just I always seem to forget at least one of those things. So I think what we can do now is we quick throw on radiant appetite, sell all bam 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 bam. 
Um, that's easy duo Vigintillion. Okay. It's not even hard. So from this point on in the run, if I were to complete it, we would still need basically just more sugar lumps and more golden cookie golden cookie clicks. Um, all these question marks are the level 10 building achievements. 365 sugar lumps, and we still need uh, just plain lucky. Play for 365 days and click 27,777 golden cookies. I think we're just under 10,000 right now, uh, 9,800. A little over 200 sugar lumps, um, and we are behind on that as well. Right now we should be at more like 250 or something like that, 250, 260. I hope you enjoy the game, and thanks for watching.